Let me ask you something. When I say the words strong woman, what comes to mind? Do you think sassy, fiery, feisty, feminist, independent, anti-misogynist, anti-man? What comes to mind when I say to you the words strong woman? In this video, I would like to share with you what I believe a strong woman is and what I believe a strong woman isn't. Hey, welcome to my home. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Rachel Baskin. I'm the creator of the blog Dance in My Crown, a motivational and inspirational blog geared at women like you, encouraging you and empowering you and motivating you and inspiring you to live a purpose-driven life, but also helping you to learn to be comfortable in your own skin, to embrace being the beauty that God has made you to be. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means a lot to me that you're watching. And if you're listening to the audio of this video on podcast, thank you so much for choosing to download and listen. So as you have seen from the title of this video slash podcast, we are talking about what it means to be a strong woman. I think in this day and age, when you say the words strong woman, so many things come to mind, some good, some bad, you know, but there's a lot. I feel like the word um, or the phrase rather strong woman is just loaded and I kind of felt like I wanted to break down a bit with you what I think comes to mind for me when I hear the word strong woman when I hear the phrase strong woman um, I have been told that I'm a strong woman and I choose to see it as a compliment um, and the reasons why I choose to see it as a compliment is because of what I believe a strong woman is and what I believe a strong woman isn't. And I thought to myself, well, let me make a video with you and share with you what I think a strong woman is. But before I dive in with that, I want you to hit me up on the comment section below. Share with me what you believe a strong woman is and what a strong woman isn't. So to share with you my thoughts, one of the things I believe a strong woman isn't is that she isn't trying to be a man, okay? I don't think that a strong woman is trying to go shot for shot with a guy at a bar. I don't think she's trying to be too masculine, trying to suppress her God-given femininity, trying to just, you know, ah, just be too strong, you know? Trying to be a man instead of just trying to be a strong woman. And what I believe that is a difference is that a strong woman isn't trying to be a man. She is comfortable in her femininity. Thank you very much, you know? She is not trying to be a man. She embraces herself for the woman that she is. She knows who she is, what she's about, and I'll talk a bit more about that later on. But she knows who she is. She knows what she's about. And so she's comfortable with that. She isn't trying to be a man. She is being a woman. It doesn't mean that she's a walkover. It doesn't mean that she's a pushover. But she just knows that, you know what, I don't need to be as aggressive as a man. Try one-up a man. Try, you know, anything a man can do. I can do. I mean, that's true, right? Anything a man can do, you can do too, to a point. Like, can you pee standing? I'm going to just put that out there, okay? So, and if you can, okay. <laughs> but, you know, the point I'm trying to make, I know I'm trying to be, you know, I'm being a bit silly and whatever. But the point that I'm really trying to make is that I believe being a strong woman does not mean taking on masculine attributes. I believe being a strong woman is accepting yourself for the woman that you are accepting your womanhood and being comfortable in that. That you can be strong in that, you can be grounded in that, you know what you're about. Not because you're trying to be like a man, but because you embrace your womanhood and you're free in that, you're comfortable in that, you know, so I do think that, um, yeah, our strength in being woman doesn't lie in being able to go toe to toe with a man. We don't need to try outdo men. We just need to let men be men so that we can be women. And going on from that point, what I believe a strong woman is, isn't is that she is not threatened by a man i believe that a strong woman is happy to let a man be a man a strong woman does not mind if a man opens the door for her 
A strong woman does not mind if the man chooses to pay the bill. A strong woman does not mind if a man wants to try protect her, provide for her, not because she cannot do those things for herself, but because she accepts that that is a man stepping up and being a man. He is rising to the occasion of being a man. And as a woman, you can embrace that. You can accept that. And in fact, you can cheer him on in that, right? Because I think a strong woman knows that fatherlessness will end when men rise up and become men, when men rise to the occasion, they lead their homes, they are present in their homes. They don't just live in their homes, but they are present in their homes. Fathers are teaching their sons what it means to be true men, teaching them what true masculinity is. When a strong woman sees a man being a man, taking his responsibilities, heck, if she isn't already married to him, she's signing up. <laughs> You know, she's signing up to be with a man who is truly a man, who accepts the fact that he is a man, that he is called to provide leadership in his home and headship in his home. And as a woman, you know, you are therefore then free to help him, to motivate him, to encourage him to be the man that he is called to be. I think that's a strong woman. A strong woman is a woman who can get behind a man and be like, hey, as you're walking this road, as you're seeking to be the man you were created to be, as you are not shying away from your responsibilities, you're rising to the occasion, you're being the man of this home. Yes, I accept that and I respect that because woman, that's a big one, okay? Respecting your man. I'm not saying be a submissive doormat. Yes, sir. Everything you say, sir. That's not respect. That's fear. That's domination, okay? That's not what I'm talking about when I say respecting your man. I'm saying respecting his authority, that he is the head of your home, that he is trying to provide, that he is trying to lead, and you rally behind that, you know? A practical example of that is maybe, you know, when your husband speaks to the kids and he's like, hey, this is the rule. Mommy, don't turn around and be like, no, what? In my house, I said, don't be that woman, okay? Do not undermine your man's authority. Respect him. It costs you nothing, you know? And especially if he's a good one, right? Especially as if your man is trying to be a man, okay? He's not running away from his responsibilities, sitting, playing computer games all hours of the night when he should be in bed with you, um... <laughs> but when he should be with you or spending time with the kids, you know, when he is being truly a man, respect him, get behind him, motivate him, encourage him. So I think a strong woman is not at all threatened by a man. She wants a man to be a man because like I was saying, as fatherlessness falls away, when men rise up to the occasion and become men, a strong woman rejoices because one man at a time, fatherlessness is disappearing one man at a time and so i think as a strong woman we actually want men in our lives to stand up and to be the men that they were called to be i believe that that is a strong woman a woman who will cheer her man on and a woman who will get behind her man support him respect him help him to be the man that he is supposed to be you know what i mean does that make sense let me know what you think about that because i know that's a little bit controversial i'm throwing out you know respect your man accept his leadership and i don't want you to hear what i'm not saying i'm not saying be subservient i'm not saying that you are in Inferior to a man. I'm just saying that men and women are created equal in the eyes of God. We just play different roles. And what I'm saying to you is as a strong woman, encourage, not nag, encourage your man to play the role of the man so that you can sit back and enjoy the role of being a woman. You know what I mean? I think that the best and most beautiful gift a man can give a woman is that of allowing her to enjoy her womanhood, to be a woman, to know that she has a good solid man in her arms who will protect and provide and love and put himself out for his family. A man who does that gives you such a beautiful gift, lets you bask in being a woman. And I feel like a strong woman is wise enough to accept that gift. You know, so if you've got a good man on your hands, he's trying to be a good man, honey, hang on to him, okay? 
encourage him walk that journey to him be the strong woman that he needs you to be okay that's what uh, one of the things that i think makes you a strong woman but i really want to hear your thoughts on this point is it <sighs> Is it kind of, am I pushing the envelope a little bit, telling you to respect your man, you know, um, defer to his leadership? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. You've just heard mine. I want to hear yours. Drop them in the comment section below. So anyways, that was kind of, I guess you can pull, call it point number two or whatever. I'm just kind of sharing with you guys what's on my mind and what's on my heart. Um, but yeah, that's what I think, you know, makes a woman strong is that she is okay to let a man be a man, to let him lead. You know, you're not trying to be a man. You're not threatened by a man. And um, I think also, you know, you're, what makes you a strong woman, I should say, is that you're willing to accept your limitations as a woman. You know, like, you know where you're strong and where you're weak. You know that you don't need to do everything. You know that you can't do everything. And you ask for help. I think that's a strong woman. I think that's a wise woman. Where you know the scope of your strength. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need to try do everything on your own. Because you know that you can't. You know. There's that very famous and popular saying. No man is an island. Well it's true of women too. Okay. We are not sheroes. <laughs> Although there are real life sheroes, okay, who do amazing and phenomenal things. And by the way, going off of that point, I just want to give a shout out to all the single moms out there. I know point number one, I said you're not trying to be a man, but I know that there are a lot of single mothers out there. In fact, all single mothers out there, you're having to be both the man and the woman in your home. And I salute you. You are a strong, strong woman in ways I can never know. Thank you for sacrificing, for choosing to wear the hats of both mommy and daddy in order to do what you got to do for your kids. I salute and support you. So just, I, I really did want to put that in there for the single moms. Shout out to all y'all. Okay. Word to the single moms. You guys are legit. You're the bomb. Dot com. Okay, that's one thing I wanted to say about single moms and I hope that this video um, Please don't let it come across as though like, you know, I'm trying to bash single moms You know, you should have a man you should respect the man You know, I'm not knocking that because I know like I said single moms You know, there are women who are in tough situations that they find themselves in heck my mom for all intents and purposes was a single mom Okay, she raised eight kids on her own. My dad was around but she raised us, you know what I'm saying? So I get that with single moms. She wore the hat of mom and dad in our home, you know? And so shout out to my mom, because she is the bomb.com, okay? So I'm not knocking any... Um, single moms or women who are in that kind of situation saying that you know being strong means not being a man because i know that you're playing that role too and i respect that but i still think that you know for those of us who aren't in that situation um we don't need to try be men try be overtly you know or overly masculine to try overcompensate for whatever it is we feel we lacked. I hope that all makes sense, you know. So going back to what I was talking about, knowing the scope of your strengths and weaknesses and trying to do everything on your own, I think a strong woman realizes and knows that she can't. And again, it's different when you talk about your single moms where they have to do everything by yourself. But if you are in a relationship or in a position where you can ask for help and get help, a strong woman knows to therefore ask for help because that is available to her. Excuse me, I'm shifting around in my seat. Um, but yeah, a strong woman knows um, that she is in a, when she is in a position to ask for help, to ask for help, okay? Like I was saying earlier, no man is an island. It's true of a woman too, okay? No woman is an island. We all do need help. And I think a strong woman recognizes where her strength ends, where her limitations come into play. And she asks for help when she needs it. You know, I truly believe that um, that is a strong woman because that is a woman who who's wise and i think more than strong women we need wise women you know women who they they know a bit of how the world works they know about themselves and the kind of person that they are trying to be in the world and how it works and trying to make those two things come together you know what i mean so yeah i think a strong woman knows the scope of her 
of her strengths and of her weaknesses and of her limitations. She knows kind of where she begins and where she ends. Um, but the last thing that I wanted to say about what I believe a strong woman is, is I believe that a strong woman is a woman of conviction, of deep faith and of incredible focus. You know, you look in history, um, especially black women, you know, um, and I'm not knocking any white girls watching this in any way, but I'm saying for me as a black woman, what's relevant to me is when I look at black women in history who have overcome incredible odds to be in the positions that they're in. I mean, they have conviction, they have focus, commitment, dedication, you name it, they've got it, okay? I mean, I think of women like Condoleezza Rice, um, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, um, Harriet Tubman, Maya Angelou, Angelo, Oprah Winfrey, how can we forget Mama O? <laughs> you know, women who have overcome incredible odds to be where they're at. I just think, wow, that is a woman with conviction, with focus, with commitment, faith, just wow, you know. Um, so yeah, I believe that a strong woman, you know, she's someone who can dig deep who has that focus, that conviction, they know where they're going, they know where about, and they are solid in that belief. They, Their faith in God will not be shaken. The dreams in their heart will not die out because they want to go on to achieve bigger, better, do great things, you know. So, yeah, those are a bit of my thoughts. I know that it was a little bit maybe all over the place. I hope you were able to follow. Let me know in the comment section if you were able to follow some of my thoughts and share with me in the comment section some of your own thoughts. Share with me what comes to mind when you hear the phrase strong woman. I would love to hear from you. I would love to learn from you. Um, maybe you have other things that um, you think, hey, when when I hear strong woman, I think of da 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 da. You know, I shared with you about my mom. I shared with you, you know, women like Oprah and Maya Angelou and all these women who just overcome the incredible odds to be where they are at. And maybe you are a strong woman. So give yourself a shout out in the comment section below. You know, if you're a single mom watching this, you have absolutely every single right right now. It's your moment, <laughs> you know, pat yourself on the back. You're doing an incredibly awesome job and you're such a strong woman. And to all my strong women out there, thank you for being the powerhouses that you are, for choosing to fight, for choosing to stand, for choosing to believe, for choosing to have conviction. This world would not be the same without you. So yeah, that is my thoughts on what I believe a strong woman is. And like I said, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're listening to this on the podcast, most definitely send me an email with what your thoughts on being a strong woman are. You can email me at info at danceinmycrown.com. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for listening to the audio of this video if it's on the podcast. Um, if you're on YouTube right now and you're watching this and you like this video, do me a solid thumbs up this video if you do genuinely like it. Subscribe to the channel if you do genuinely like it. And um, share this video if you think that there was something in here that, you know, like, yeah, this makes sense. This is legit, you know. Share this video with your, your friends, your girlfriends, you know, the people in your life. Um, and let's get talking about what we believe strong women are. And most importantly, let's become strong women. Let's raise strong strong woman you know so yeah let's share this video around let's you know empower each other to become strong women and if you're listening on the podcast download this share this to, with your friends and your family it would be great for them to to hear about being a strong woman and to strive to be strong women as well and then also connect with me on social media I always love hearing from you I read every single comment I try to respond to as many as I can um so by by all means connect with me on social media and let me know your thoughts i'm on facebook twitter instagram right here on youtube right here on the podcast if you're listening to this as a podcast um although a podcast is not social media but <laughs> that's the side point <laughs> facebook twitter instagram youtube and pinterest you can connect with me on social media just look for dance in my crown and if you like this content if you want to hear more see more read more definitely check out my blog www.dentsinmycrown.com that's it from me for this video. I do hope to connect with you soon in the next podcast or video or blog post. And until then, have yourself a blessed day. Wow.